Well, hello again. I just finished the uh, video on my big tank. And uh, before I, sh I went to the Dovi tank, which seems to be what everybody wants to see, I figured I'd do a quick little video of, uh, this is one of my little 36 gallon tanks that I use for fry. This happens to be a ton of Islam fry. And as you can see, they're waiting for me to feed them, which uh, I'm not gonna give them any more food. But uh, I don't exactly know how many are in here, but uh, probably a couple hundred, something like that. Anyway, that was just a little little something here since I had to be in that, happened to be in that room. We're gonna wander in here and see some bigger fry. This is the uh, dough bites. Everybody always wants to see them. And here he goes again. The female is particularly aggressive these days, keeping track of her latest batch of fry. We're looking at the, the pair from the uh, end of the tank. Uh, females, I don't know, again, this, this rock, by the way, this cave, whatever, is a little over two feet long. And uh, my male doe by now no longer is able to fit in it. So I know he's at least 24, 25 inches, 26 at this point, something like that. Um, the uh, female, it's hard to see with the heaters there, the female doe by is growing in size. She's probably, again, not the greatest at guessing sizes, but she's got to be in the teens by now, 13, 14 inches, something like that. This is the big fella. And uh, here is fry all over the tank. And your, one surprising thing, I do have somewhere in here, another male um, from a previous spawn that they've allowed to survive. Uh, typically that doesn't happen. Now there he is in a cave. He is not as big as uh, the others at this point, but he's probably pushing 10 inches himself. Uh, it's probably close to a year old fish by now. Um, I suspect that the reason that he is living is because it's quite possible the last time this female laid eggs that he may very well have fertilized some of them. Um, that's the only explanation I can see. Typically what I have to do usually is pull um, any remaining uh, fry that have grown when the doe by spawn again because they will kill them. And this time I just wouldn't, couldn't catch this guy and he's managed to survive so I've left him in there. At some point this big fellow is uh, going to keel over. He's uh, 10 years old, something like that, 8 to 10 years. I don't really know for sure. Um, but uh, of course they don't live forever. Uh, if I take good care of him, hopefully he'll live till he's 15, 20. Um, it's nice to have uh, another quality male uh, coming up and it uh, looks like the little guy that's in that tank and in that cave, I should say, who doesn't want to come out um, is maybe the heir apparent. Um, this guy is, <laughs> he just snapped aside uh, because I was running my finger along it. Um, anyway, so uh, everybody always wants to see him. Um, female is also, you can see her kind of attacking me a little bit too. If I get up into the surface, sometimes they will kind of come after my fingers. I don't know if they will today or not. Uh, but uh, not a whole lot, lot else I can say about these fish other than um, they are my favorites. And uh, they're in a 600, which is uh, full of fry at the moment. Uh, it's hard to say just how many there are because it's definitely not one of the larger spawns. Um, I'm going to guess it's a few hundred. I've had situations where it's been a few thousand. That is the uh, younger male that's, uh, again, he's probably 10 inches or so, I suppose, something like that. Uh, but he is, of course, dwarfed by, by this big male and uh, even considerably smaller than the female who just, just rushed the, the uh, glass, or the plexiglass, because I have brought my fingers up and get uh, in there trying to protect their fry and I'm messing with them. Anyhow, uh, just a quick video on the, on the doves just so you guys can see kind of what's happening with them. Um, really nothing much else going on with these guys. And you can see the female continuing to shake her head at me to get to, for me to get out of here. But uh, and here she comes when I put my hand on the glass. Anyway, I guess that's it. Just a quick one. Bye for now.